week's video, we talked about a controversial grape uh, in Ontario, Syrah. This week, I'm going to continue the controversy, and it's for a passimento, which is a style of wine making uh, famous in Italy, in the Veneto region, uh, for wines that are with, made with dried grapes. Uh, Ontario started to do this a few years back, and some people love it, and some people hate it. Today we're looking at the Pilatary 2010 Familia Reserva Cabernet Franc. Yes, 100% Cabernet Franc goes in. That's the staple grape here in Ontario when you're looking at red wines. And here's another little bit of a controversy, I guess. This one won Red Wine of the Year at the Ontario Wine Awards last year, 2015. Now, does that put an end to the controversy of a Passamento wine in Ontario? No, but it does make you think. If done right, it can really make a beauty of a wine. The worry, though, is that you'll lose the character of the specific grape variety that you're using. Of course, in the Veneto, they use a pile of grapes to make Amarone. Here in Ontario, we're using just one in this particular wine, Cabernet Franc. Now, the Cabernet Franc has lost no characteristics whatsoever. It's smoky, it's got lots of tobacco, it's got raspberry, it's got black cherry, it's got some savory elements. This is some really good Cabernet Franc made in the Appassimento style and reminds me of an old school Amarone. So the Italian name fits, the Familia Reserva Cabernet Franc. It's got a lovely smoothness, it's a lovely wine, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, big 15% alcohol. It's a tad pricey, but it certainly is delicious. That's the Pilatary 2010 Familia Reserva Cabernet Franc. Price, $78, and I give it four and a half stars out of five. I'm Michael Pincus, the Grape Guy for MichaelPincusWineReview.com. Join me again next week when we'll look at another great bottle of Ontario wine. You've been watching the Ontario Wine Review weekly wine video with the grape guy, Michael Pincus. Subscribe today by visiting YouTube or just clicking that little button on the left. To find out more about MichaelPincusWineReview.com, visit the website. Sign up for the new weekly newsletter. And while there, why not get the scoop on the new Grape Guy Events app, where you collect points for visiting wineries, attending events, retweeting videos, and so much more. Grape Guy Events, giving you more from your wine experience. Thanks for watching. See you next week.